Okay, we've looked at solving quadratics using the quadratic formula. Another great tool to understand and to use is the discriminant. Well, what is that? For a quadratic equation in standard form, the discriminant, b squared minus 4ac, it's the part right here that's underneath the radical sign. Quadratic equations can have either two, one, or no real solutions. The discriminant can help you determine how many solutions they are. Here are our three equations. I'm identifying the three different cases. Here's an equation. Here's what the graph of that equation looks like. Notice that this graph crosses the x-axis in two places. That means there's two solutions. This quadratic, notice is the equation for that quadratic is here. Notice, notice that it touches the x-axis in one place. In that scenario, there is only one solution. This equation, notice that the graph does not touch the x-axis at all. And as a result, there are no real solutions. they are solutions, they're just not real. So the way you want to represent that is zero or no real solutions. Here's how you can determine how many solutions they are using the discriminant. If you take a look at the A, B, and C values, use the discriminant formula, evaluate it. In this case, you get a positive 4. If your solution is positive, there will always be two solutions. If you take a look at the A, B, and C values and plug them into the discriminant and you get zero, there will be one solution. If you take a look at the A, B, and C values and evaluate the discriminant and you get a negative number, there will be no real solutions. So you want to remember, positive, two solutions, zero, one solution negative, no real solutions. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. So, again, greater than zero, two solutions. Equal to zero, one solution, negative, no real solutions. We've got a few examples, let's work through them. So the first thing you want to do is make sure it's in standard form. These all are, and I want to identify my A, B, and C values. A is three, B is negative 2, and C is 2. Now what I want to do is I want to take my B value and square it. I'm going to subtract from it 4 times the A value times the C value. 2 squared, negative 2 squared is 4. Minus 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24, and I get negative 20. If it's negative, there are no real solutions. So this one has no real solutions. Let's take a look at the other two. And again, evaluate your terms. A is 2, B is 11. C is 12. I'm going to take the B value, square it. 11, I'm going to square it, minus 4 times the A value, which is 2, times the C value, which is 12. 11 squared is 121, minus 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 12 is 96. 121 minus 96 is, I believe that's 25. Notice that that's positive, because if it's positive, there are two real solutions. So in this case, there are two real solutions. Let's take a look at the last one. My A value is 1. My B value is 8. My C value is 16. I use my discriminant formula. B squared 
minus 4 times A times C, and I get 64 minus 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 16 is 64, and I get 0. 64 minus 64 is 0, and if it's 0, notice that there is one real solution. And that's how you can use the discriminant to determine how many solutions you're going to have on a quadratic. Hope that helps you. Good luck.